my name is Jade and I am your instructor live trainer. So welcome to session four of your back care program. So for this one, I'm inviting you to start seated. So finding a comfortable chair, feet grounded on the floor, feet flat, all 10 toes down and knees parallel. Let's take a gorgeous breath in as we sweep the arms all the way up towards the ceiling, a big full body stretch. Exhale through the mouth as you bring them down. And let's do this one more time. Inhale, sweep all the way up, lift up and out of the hips, make space. Exhale as you bring the arms down. This time, inhale, sweep all the way up. We're going to pause here at the top. Now we're going to take hold of your right wrist with your left hand. So I'm holding right wrist with left hand. Now we did a side stretch in session one, which is going to assist it this time. So we're going to side bend over and I'm going to gently pull the right arm across the body. So I'm with my left hand assisting that right arm over so I can go a little bit further. Now if you can turn your eye line to look up, towards the ceiling so that we really are sure that this arm is not collapsing in front of the face. So we're making space through the shoulder, through the rib cage, all the way down to the hip. Make sure the bottom is staying on the chair. Let's slowly realign back to center. Release that hand. Take a breath out as you bring the arms down. We'll go again for the other side. So inhale, sweep the arms up. Now from here, we're going to take hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Gently come up and over into a side bend. So you're pulling that left arm over with the right hand. Eye line turns up towards the ceiling. So we can really make sure that we're opening through the chest. Trying not to flare the rib cage. Think of the abdominal activation we have spoke about previously. Slowly bring yourself all the way back to center. Release the hands and breathe out through the mouth as you bring the arms down. Now we did easy eagle pose before. I'm going to take you through full eagle arms now. Great for the upper back. So we're going to bring the right arm forwards and then we pop the left arm on top. Now we're going to try and keep those elbows together. You're going to bend the arms. And as you do, the left elbow is hooked on top of the right. So I bring my forearms together, the backs of the hands together here. Now, once you arrive here, try to take the hands away from the face and lift the elbows ever so slightly, taking your eye line up just to look towards the wrists, the hands as well. Try and drop the shoulders away from the ears. And if you're struggling keeping a straight back, then possibly the best thing to do is lean on your chair with your bottom against the base of the chair as well. I'm going to take a little cat and cow here with the eagle arms and throwing it all together. We're going to inhale as we take the arms a little bit higher. Exhale as you draw the elbows towards the belly. As you drop the shoulders, bring the chin to the chest and curve the back. Let's do that again. So this is same as a cat and cow we did before. We inhale as we take the eye line up, take the hands with you, lifting the elbows. And then exhale as you bring the elbows down towards the belly, tuck the tailbone under and drop the chin to the chest. Pause here for a moment. Let's stay here. A great pose for the upper back. And then we'll realign the spine. Keep the arms in eagle. Lift the hands away from the face. Pause there for a moment and then slowly open those arms out. Just take the hands behind you slightly, palms of the hands forwards and open through the chest. Just a nice way to release off from that eagle pose. Let's do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna invite you to bring the left arm forwards now. The right arm comes on top. We bend the elbow, so the right elbow is now on top of the left, bringing the backs of the hands together taking the elbows up slightly, the hands come away from the face, try and drop the shoulders down away from the ears, activating through the abdominals and not flaring the rib cage. There's a lot to think about. We're gonna inhale as we lift the arms up and exhale as you bring the elbows down towards the belly, drop the shoulders heavy, chin comes down towards the chest. Again, inhale, sweeping the hands up, Taking the eye line with you. Don't throw the head back though. And exhale as you bring those elbows down towards the torso, rounding through the back. Coming to center, 
eagle arms, elbows are lifted, and then we open the arms out, palms of the hands face forwards, drop the shoulders away from the ears and open through that chest. Take a lovely breath here. And now we're going to bring those arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Take the hands behind your head. So I'm interlacing the hands, hands behind the head. Peel the elbows wide. Try to really switch on through the abdominals here because otherwise your back is going to collapse and you might feel a pull in your lower back. So draw in the navel towards the spine. A little side bend here to work on our strength, okay? So we're working on strength as well as stretching out. Bringing the right elbow in the direction of the right hip. So you're taking a side bend. Keep both elbows really open so the chest doesn't collapse. Come through center and then bring the left elbow towards the left hip. Making sure the feet are grounded here. If you find your knees are knocking in towards each other, might be a good idea to put your feet together, keep the knees together, or you could put a pillow between your knees. So a little side bend, we're going side to side here, opening up through the chest, activating through the obliques, which are your muscles, through the waist. We'll do it one more time each side. Try not to let the top elbow collapse forwards. Keep the elbows back. Last one here, coming over, not collapsing, taking your time, controlling the moves, and then slowly coming back to center. Reach those arms up towards the ceiling and open the hands. This time, take your right hand and drop it down your back. So my right hand is coming to touch the top of my back. The right elbow is coming towards the head. From here, you're gonna pop your left hand on top of the right elbow. So this is a gentle tricep stretch. Try to keep the right elbow in line with the head. From here, we're gonna side bend at the same time. So you're gonna come over towards the left, keeping that right elbow in line with the head, keeping it back. And you should feel a really beautiful stretch down the rib cage, into the hip, into the shoulder blade and the upper back. Slow, steady breath into the side body. Then let's come back to center. Release the arms, so reach up towards the ceiling. Drop the left arm down the back now. Keep that elbow in line with the head. Bringing the right hand on top of the elbow, remembering to switch on the core. And then side bending over to the right. Try not to drop the arm forwards. Try and keep the chest open. Rounding down through the feet and breathing into the side body. Let's slowly come back through to center. Inhale, reach those arms up and exhale, bring the arms down a little for your lower body now. So make sure you're grounded on the chair properly. I'm gonna invite you to take your legs wide. This is called a goddess pose. So what you're gonna do is ground your feet down so your feet are flat but you see my feet are turned out. So the toes are pointing onto the diagonal and the knees always follow the same line as the toes. Heels of the hands come onto the thighs. Now we're gonna work with the right shoulder first. I'm gonna press the heel of my hand into the right thigh and actually roll that thigh back and push that leg gently away as the right shoulder comes down towards the center of the chair. So I'm pressing the right leg back and the right shoulder's coming forwards. Please be careful with your chair that it doesn't slide backwards. Like I mentioned previously, you could have your chair pressed against a wall so that you've got that support there if you feel a little unsafe. Or you could be on a sofa, could give you a bit more security there. So a great way to open the hips. Again, really important to work on your hips to look after the back as well. Then I'm gonna ease off through that right shoulder. I'm gonna take you into a seated assisted warrior. This left leg's gonna stay where it is. Maybe use the chair to align yourself. We're gonna straighten the right leg. So my right leg now straightens. The foot is flat, the toes are facing forwards. Hands come onto the hips, drop the shoulders down. And all I want you to do is just stay here. So we're opening through the pelvis activating through the abdominals. Maybe you might like to find that triangle that we did before where you're trying to switch on through the lower tummy. Pull this left knee so it's pointing towards this direction. So it's in line with the toes and a great way to get a little bit of strength through the lower tummy, but we've got the chair to give us that little bit of support with the legs. Let's take one breath here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
and then we'll slowly creep that right leg back in. Realign yourself so both feet are flat, toes are pointing on the diagonal, heels of the hands in, we'll drop your left shoulder now. So I'm gonna gently press the left leg back, the left shoulder's gonna come towards the center. So I'm pressing that left leg away, grounding down through the feet, all 10 toes are down opening up through the hip, breathing into that hip. This is a powerful posture for the lower back as well. And then we'll ease ourselves off. You can hold the chair to make sure you're secure. We straighten the left leg, make sure the foot is flat, toes are facing forwards, peel the hips open, make sure the shoulders are stacked on top of the hips. And we're pointing that right knee in the direction of the same as the toes. Draw the belly button to the spine so the back is supported and drop the shoulders away from the ears. One last breath here, in through the nose and out through the mouth. This is an assisted warrior two pose. And then we'll gently bend the left leg, creep those feet back together. Maybe have a little fidget, a bit of a wriggle through the lower if you would like to. And then take one last breath in, sweep all the way up and exhale as you bring the arms down. That was session number four. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on session number five.